We want to bring in Diane Sawyer, our friend Diane Sawyer. And Diane, I remember the moment we first saw that trailer of the Jeremy Renner interview. It takes your breath away. No, it really does, because as I said, it's not just that he teaches about a will to live, but willing yourself through pain to get back to strength. It's a lesson for every single person to turn your suffering into your strength. And it turns out he broke about 15% of all the bones in his body, mm -hmm. this accident did. And it crushed from his toes to his shins, his ankles, all the way up to his eye socket. Oh. And I didn't know what I was going to find or see when I walked up to his home in Los Angeles and walked in the door. We arrive at Jeremy Renner's house in Los Angeles. Then we expect a quiet sanctuary, a shattered man recovering from a brutal accident. But what's that? Music is blasting, a horde of people everywhere, and the patient is dancing. It's journeys any way you want it. Feels good. What's good? Where am I? Easing up on it. Hey. Look at you! Look at you! Oh, it is so great to see you in every you. way. Oh, I don't want to touch anything that hurts. Oh, everything's good. Oh, is this new? Yeah, yeah, I just got up right yesterday. Really? I just got on my feet yesterday, yeah. Impossible that it's only been 10 weeks since this. Someone's been run over by a snowcat. Hurry. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. So I don't know. Someone's in front of my house on the ground. They got run over by a snowcat. He's been crushed. Okay, we have... Send paramedics, ambulance... Everyone's video. on the way right now, okay? Listen to me. I need... I, we, we yes. might want to get a life, uh, life flight out here immediately. Okay. Are you with them right now? Uh, yes, yeah, he is in rough shape. He's moaning on the ground. Awake. Barely. Are there any obvious injuries? Oh my god, yes. I, I just have to ask the questions. They're on their way. This is the voice on that 911 call, Rich Kovach, who lives in a nearby house. It was the blood, the amount of blood, and then he was he was just in such pain and the, the sounds that were coming out of him, and there was so much blood in the snow. And then when I looked at his head, it appeared to me to be cracked wide open and I could see white. I don't know if that was his skull, if it, maybe it was just my imagination, but that's what I thought I saw. Kovach called for his partner, Barb Fletcher, to come help. I didn't know who it was. I just saw somebody laying there and just a lot of blood coming from his head and just grabbed one of the towels that was still folded and just applied pressure. I could tell he was really struggling to breathe. The two terrified strangers are not the only ones there. So is a young man named Alex Freeze. That's his uncle on the ground. The nephew lifts his uncle's arm. It seems to help him breathe. Just breathe, just breathe, that's it. And I, I, I stood over him in his crouch position holding his arm for the entire time. From seconds after that guy came over, it was just that, and I'm just like locked in on him. The injured man is fighting with the kind of strength you see in superheroes in the movies. Let's give him hell. And in fact, he is one. Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye, one of the Avengers. Do you remember the pain? Oh, all of it, yeah. I sort of moved my legs and I said, oh, that one, that one's really messed up. But I said, oh yeah, that leg's gonna, that's gonna be a problem. And I'm thinking like, what's my body look like? Am I just gonna be like a spine in a, in a brain, like a science experiment? Is that my existence now? What, what am I, what's my existence gonna be like? And how did you first hear about it, Valerie? Give me a call. Can we just stop? I don't know. This is his mom. He was intubated. He was out. He, um... His breathing is so horrible. I heard that you had, in sign language, you said to your family, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
I was signing that. Because I am sorry. But the mom, he says, taught him everything about being tough and never giving up stays by his side. And your mom read to you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so she's reading Stephen King, some like horror thing. <laughs> but she just wants to like read like she's reading Dr. Seuss to me, like, you know. <laughs> How now, brown cow? <laughs> it happened to be what I was reading at the time. <laughs> but I just wanted him to hear my voice. He wants everyone to know that the real superpower is the ability to transform your suffering into your strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bubba. Yeah. So shift the narrative of it being victimized or making a mistake or anything else. I refuse to be haunted by that memory that way. This is what I talk to my family about from all their perspectives, which are horrifying. that I put upon them. What we just endured, that's real love. It's suffering, but that feeds the seeds of what love is. And his positive energy mm. is real. He just will not live inside regret or let anyone around him do it either. But how he said how, it's a lesson for us to transform our suffering into strength and how that's he right. has been able to do that. Yes, and he has this sense of purpose. As long as you have a sense of purpose for mm. your day, he says you can achieve it. And uh, it's a great, raucous, wild family <laughs> that is there all the time. I meant it, it was like the roller derby <laughs> with all his nieces, <laughs> nephews, everybody's moving around. But I want to say there's another part of the story which was many miracles, including the, respond the responders, the first responders, mm -hmm. who got up this snowy mountain and also the neighbors across the street coming mm -hmm. over with his nephew and hanging on to him and they will not let him sleep if they can help it. So right. recovery is so rapid. Yeah. It is amazing. But every single day he does hours, hours, and you will see tonight, you'll see the pain, and you'll see what it takes to do it. But he's just not going to, he's not going to let it be on his watch mm -hmm. that he doesn't do everything he can. My goodness. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you for bringing it to us. Okay. And all of you at home can see the whole conversation tonight at 10 Eastern. It streams tomorrow on Hulu and Disney+. Plus.